How's it going guys? We're going to go ahead and review Wondershare Filmora video editor. This is the new video editor from Wondershare. It used to just be called Wondershare video editor, but now they call it Filmora and it's gotten a heck of a lot better. This is what it looks like here. If you guys want to download a free trial, just go to Google and type in Wondershare Filmora. It's going to pop up with these search results here. You can either click on the top one, which is an ad, or click on the one that says official here. When you click on it, it's going to take you to this page here where you can download it for free for a free trial. Or you can buy it once you like it and you once the free trial is over, of course, you won't be able to use it anymore. If you want to buy it, then you click on here on buy it now. We will take a look at how much it costs once we're done reviewing it. All right. So once you download and install it, this is this right here is what it looks like. To import a video to start uh, working on it, you click on the on the upper left hand corner up here. Click on import. Click on import media files, and then go ahead and browse and select your video wherever you have it. Once you select it, it's going to put it here under the media tab. Now down here in the middle, you see these tabs. This is how you navigate through all the tools in the video editor. Here down on the actual timeline on the top here is the video uh, ribbon here, or the video uh, bar. This is where the videos go. Pictures go here. Text images go here. And music goes here on the bottom. Now you can add more than one video if you want and stack them on each other also, which is what I like about this. Let's go ahead and get this video. This is a video of a camping trip I did with my girlfriend Diana to uh, Pecos, New Mexico, which is where we're from. We're from the state of New Mexico in the U.S. Uh, all you have to do is uh, one, click on your video and drag it down to the video section. I'm going to go ahead and play it. What? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it so I can show you all the tools we can do here. On top of your video here you have some scissors. You can actually click on that to split the video and uh, let's say you wanted to put a clip in, in between that. You split that's how you split it. And then you can put a clip you can drag and drop a clip in between those videos. Whatever you want to do, but that's the first one, it's a cut. There's also a, a delete if you want to delete. Either you can click on the, the trash icon here or you can hit delete on your keyboard. Also, there is a crop section here, a flash and hold, which will do this effect here, which is really, really cool. <laughs> that looks really, really cool. There's so many tools on here, guys. There's also a power tool. You can tilt the video with this, I believe. You can go ahead and select what, what part of the video you want to do that to. So going through the uh, through the icons here, music. You can also you can select music. Let's say you 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 want to just select a, a song from here. They have a selection. You can also click here to import music. You can also go to media back to the media folder here. And uh, you can also import your own songs and then throw them on here. All right, we're just gonna pick a uh, we're just gonna pick one from here. Let's see what we can find. Trees to stone. That sounds kind of oh, one we could probably use. All right, we're gonna select that one. What we're gonna do is click and drag it down to the to the music section here. Once it's in there, we're gonna go ahead and play it and see how it sounds. It's going to show that cool effect that we did. I'm going to cut the video here to make it short just so just so we can have something short to work with here and this video doesn't take that long. All right. So we're going to make this a very short video just so we can test out all the effects on it. So we're going to go to text and credits here. And we're going to make a the end. We're going to make a the end uh credits here so we're going to click this and drag it down here 
and you notice it's taking it to the text section here. We're going to right click on, we're going to double click on it. So go ahead and double click, and then you can type in whatever you wanted to say. I'm just going to keep it as the end. I'll just keep it with what it had, the end. Let's go ahead and play and see how that looks like. The end. You can also make the the clip longer if you just click. If you put your your cursor right on the end of the video, you notice it has those arrows. You can actually make it longer. So that's that way it says the end while the while the video is still playing. Cool. So you can make it that way. We're gonna click OK. So we're done with that. Next, let's look at filters. We can put a filter over it so to make it look uh, different. Let's see what they have here. We'll do the sunset filter on it. You put the filter in the very beginning, and then you can actually, by putting your cursor at the very end and having the arrows, you click and drag and make it as long as you need to. So it's going to look like it's a sunset now and throughout the whole video. Let's go ahead and play and see how it looks like. Not bad, not bad. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's look at the next effects here. You can you also can put overlays on there. Let's go ahead and do the old film overlay on it. And we're also gonna extend it to the whole video. Let's play it from the beginning and see how it looks like. So you've noticed it's got like an old film feel to it now. Let's see what else we can do. Let's click on elements. And these are just stamps, but if you notice here on the left, they they have different. Uh, they have a lot of ones you can pick. We're gonna do the love one here. We're just gonna put a heart on there. So let's go ahead and get the heart here. Click and drag it down here. We're going to extend it. Now we might be adding too much stuff on here, but I'm just adding stuff so you guys can see what we can play with here. So there's the heart in the beginning. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And there's lots of them that you can choose from. Filmora has just evolved. Wondershare has done a really good job with this video editing software. They've uh, evolved with it. Also, there's transitions. You could do transitions here. Um, there's different ones where it, it sweeps across or it, it, it does a circle effect. We're going to go ahead and choose, see which one might look cool. Hmm. We'll do a swap. It might not look that cool, but uh, we're just using it just for testing purposes. So we'll put the swap right here, right after the little still effect. Let's go ahead and play it and see what it looks like. Cool. That looks pretty cool, actually. Cool. All right, the next thing you can do is a split screen. All right, guys. So for the split screen to work, you have to select the one you want. Click on it and click on the plus screen. And then you're going to see in the middle here these drop zones. All you got to do is click and drag your media to these drop zones. Since I only have a video, one video on here, I'm going to put the same video on the both drop zones. And let's go ahead and click play. And if you notice... Both videos are playing at the same time. You can choose uh, whichever split screen you want to do. And like I said, just go ahead and click the plus sign. And then click and drag your videos to the drop zones. Man, that's so easy. I like the way Wondershare made that very simple, very user-friendly. I like that. All right, guys. So let's go back. So that's pretty much all the uh, tabs here of all the tools we can do. I forgot to mention here on the right hand side you can zoom in by clicking and uh, either by clicking the plus sign you zoom in or the minus sign you zoom out or you can click on the little uh, 
on the little slider here and slide it to zoom in or zoom out. All right, guys. And let's go ahead and uh, export this video. To export, click on the export tab button right there. You can go ahead and select many different formats. The ones I usually do is AVI. AVI is known as uh, Universal. We're going to name the video Test Video just to test it. And then you just click on export. Now, the reason why I made a very short video is so that this export goes through pretty fast. It'll tell you the size it's going to be 24 megabytes, the duration 39 seconds. I made the video very short. The resolution is 1280 times 720, which is pretty good quality. Just click on export. And of course, we're not using the registered version right now. We're using the free trial. So what it's probably going to do is put a big old uh, watermark right in the middle saying Filmora. If you notice, there it is. See, it says Wondershare Filmora in the middle. So you won't be able to save your video unless you buy it. I mean, you could save it, but it's going to have a big fat fil Filmora in the middle. <laughs> And before you guys comment on the comment video, comment section of the video, why am I seeing Filmora in the middle of the video? I'm telling you guys right now, that's why. Because you're using the free version. Until you buy it, they'll take off the Filmora on the middle of the video. I'll say it one more time. Because you, you need to buy the full version. Last time I did this video, a lot of you guys were asking why. That's why, guys. All right. You can select here, Sound Reminder. Shut down computer. If, if you're doing a very long, long video, you you can select shut down computer when it's done, or just do nothing. I'm gonna select the sound reminder, and let's go ahead and wait this to finish. All right, it is done now. When it did a little sound when it was done. Now, if you want to go to the actual folder where it's at, you click on find target. Here's the uh, video. Double. I'm gonna double click it so we can test it out. And there it is, guys. Man, very good quality. Very good quality. And the end. Now, of course, I, I didn't uh, make this all fancy because this is just for us testing it. All right, guys, so it came out really nice. And um, let's go ahead and see how much it cost. We're going to go back to the Internet. Let's, go, let's click on Buy It Now and see how much it costs. So for a one-year license, it's $40. For a lifetime license, it's $60. I recommend doing a, a lifetime license. So I give Filmora a very good review. Wondershare has done a very good job and making their video editor a lot better. I really like all the effects. So I give it a good review. I recommend it. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to check out my new videos coming soon and I'll see you soon in one of my new videos.